Okay, we are back. Are you done? <laughs> Co- <laughs> codes are fun. Yeah, codes are fun. Yeah. yeah. So um, um, this is Almighty uh, Rom the Four. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. My favorite producer in the game. Bulk yeah. My favorite Bulk person up. in Korea in general. <laughs> shout out the legend. Yes, mate. <laughs> All right. Um, so um, a shout out to Gear Lounge and Teen- Teenage Engineering too that they sponsoring this gear to uh, Rom the Four and also Bojack and uh, Li- Lion Clad as well. And uh, yeah, we are doing this in uh, in English, English. And uh, if I'm, um, uh, you know, um, no, 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 my my English is fine. Uh, it should be. Fine. Your English okay. is good, man. Okay, okay. Good I'm enough. sorry, my Korean's not good enough to do this. I can speak a bit of Korean, okay. but not enough to explain what I'm doing musically. So I All have right. to learn more. But you, you know the vibe. Yeah, you know the vibe. <laughs> you know the vibe. So um, <laughs> you just came back from Japan. How was Japan? Japan was really chill. Um, uh-huh. I spent a couple of days in Fukuoka. Uh, yeah. With some homies, I did a little DJ set out there, explored a little bit. I uh, went to Tokyo for a while and just, you know, spent some time with the KO2, just exploring and like, you know, reading manuals and getting really comfortable with it, having yeah, some yeah. good exp- exploration time. So, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a really good trip, like decent five days. Literally, you're bringing that uh, gear to uh, whenever you go and then making a beats and then... Uh, yeah. Yeah, can you uh, um, tell us about like the, um, the journey of making music while on your, tr- uh, on your trip? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. um, so Bolka basically last like last week Tuesday or last week Wednesday. Mm. Um, I think I can't remember actually. It, it was early last week because I went to Japan on Sunday last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, could, yeah. Then. So, um, early last week, Bolka pulls up on me. He's like, "I've got a gift for you." And I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> what is this?" Um, so he pulls little up, Santa here, you know? Yeah, Santa, <laughs> like the, the, the best possible way to start the year. So, um, he pulls up with the KO two, and I'm like, "Whoa." Um, I'm just shocked that I even got one of these. So again, shout out to Gear Lounge, shout out Teenage Engineering, shout out Bolka. Um, I was just really happy to have it. So at first, I, I did power it on the first day I got it. And I didn't really understand how to use it or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I've used the SP404 in the past, and I think this is quite kind of similar workflow to it, but I wasn't really comfortable with it for a while. Yeah. Um, so over the like... Over the course of the week, I would just like kind of play around with it a little bit, but it wasn't until I went to Japan and I had some free time. Mm. Um, I downloaded the manual on my phone and I just read the manual for like two hours <laughs> until I understood every aspect of it. So like now I know where everything is and how everything works and where to locate everything that I need. So right. n- now I'm comfortable with it. I made about like eight beats on it in the past couple of days. Yeah. Um, where did you uh, usually uh, make beats? Uh, like. Uh, on the train or on the bus, so, or so on the, on the everywhere. So, um, everywhere. like, if if you look at my Instagram story from today, I was literally making like two beats on the plane today from <laughs> Tokyo to Seoul. Yeah. Um, I made some beats on the train when I landed in Tokyo. I made some beats in Fukuoka. Um, I made some beats on the train back from Incheon to Seoul Station. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so just literally just looking around and looking out the window and you know just getting inspired from different environments. Um, I was making beats everywhere, and because this is so light and easy to carry around, it's the perfect tool to have. Yeah. Um, so how long does the battery uh, last then? Do you, uh, you you use a battery for this? Right? Yeah. So like mine's battery powered at the moment. Um, yeah. I put batteries in it like last mm? Thursday. I haven't had changed them since. And I've really? Used, yeah. <laughs> And I've used it every day since Thursday for at least an hour or two. So, so far, the battery hasn't run out. Wow. I'm not sure if that's... Beca- so it has a little speaker on it. So like this little speaker grill can also be like, you know, a mic or a speaker. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll move this out of the way. So oh, yeah. this can be a mic or a speaker. But like I've been mainly using it as a mic because I use it with my headphones. So uh, yeah. maybe because I'm not draining the, the uh, battery using the speaker, the battery might last a bit longer. Mm. But um, so far, it's been about five days and my battery still seems to be fine. So Wow. Yeah. Well, um, so you also record your uh, own sample on uh, on this, like you know, transport on the transportations and everything. Then, wha- yeah. what about the uh, the noise issues? Like, you, you might have a lot of like environmental noise. So, so this is my voice. Yeah. So I've got a bit of, like effects on there right now. So okay, so this is like the plane. So. I was on the train on the way from like um, Narita Airport to like like uh, uh, Harajuku Station, yeah. And I was literally just on the train playing with it, and I was like, okay, I want to try the sampling feature. So I just like leaned forward, and I was like, <laughs> which is this basically? Oh, you um, can't hear any like background noise then. No, and th- that was me on the train. So it's crazy. It's pretty good. 
um, I just put a bunch of chorus on it, and then like, for example, like I had like this kind of pattern for it. Yeah. So like I've been like playing around with chords with this a lot because I really like how like like you do chords on this. I think it's really cool. Um, I know you're a keyboard player, but yeah. um, you know uh, to manipulate chord on this like number pad wouldn't be easy. How you uh, how, how can you pull it up easily? Um, so I, I think I'm just a bit of a music nerd in that sense, but it's like I kind of have to like make chords in like two recordings, for example. So yeah. like. So if I wanted to do this, mm. so I would record this chord, but then maybe I want to add an extra note on that. Like maybe I want to ah, add this note put, on top ah, okay. of it. You, you put a different notes later. Yeah. So ah, it's like I might I do a basic seventh first, and then like I might go back and record the, like you know, record the the ninth and the eleventh afterwards. Mm. So um, that's what I've been doing with it so far. But like I actually kind of really like that because it kind of makes me like okay. Well, if I have to do that to make like really big chords, maybe I can be a bit more simple and mm. maybe not, you know, go too crazy with my chord progressions. Mm. Um, so it's actually been really cool. All right. Can you hear that beat? Yeah. yeah. So so this is like a drill beat <laughs> I made earlier today on the way back from um drill from, beat. from oh. Inchon Station. So yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll show you how this sounds yeah, and how let's it works. Pull it up. So, yeah. yeah. Sick. So yeah, I, I literally made this like in about three minutes on the train. <laughs> and I was just like, this is like just really cool. Wow. Um, and then so I that's did, yeah. just one project, right? That that's just one project. Yeah. So that that's literally just bass. I, mm. These are like the stock drum samples that came with the um the machine. I didn't put any extra samples on it apart from like me recording my voice. Um, um I know that um. One project of uh, KO uh, KO two has four tracks, right? Yes. Are, yeah, can yeah. you make like more sequences out of uh, out of let's say uh, you know if I want to make like different patterns within so, w within that project? You know what I mean? So you can make up to ninety nine. I think up to ninety nine. Uh, sequences for okay. each project mm. but obviously that's going to be limited by the amount that you sample and all those kind of things so yeah. like it only has 64 megabyte if you end up recording like a bunch of samples on there mm. you might be limited to patterns because you might use up too much space with it mm. so um so far using the mic like if i ever record something like i do the project i export you know i record with fl studio then i delete the project from the machine because i don't mm. want to like take up too much space yeah but um you can theoretically do 99 patterns Okay. For each project. So yeah. for um also like not 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 a perspective of uh the gear itself, when you're making a bit, do you create another sequences within those projects? So so far I haven't really messed around with the sequences just because I like the idea of like just making something more simple. Ah um, okay. Because I I think for a lot of people that know my music, I tend to go quite overboard with like sequences and patterns and chords and layers and that kind of stuff. Mm. So to have like for example, um, I look at the Alchemist, and I like I like how like all the projects that Alchemist. Yeah, shout does, out to like, Alchemist. Shout yeah. out to Alchemist. <laughs> but all the projects he does, like it could literally just be one pattern, and that that's the whole loop for like the whole beat. And he might take out certain elements of that one track, but mm. like he won't really add like extra parts to it. There might be like an A and a B section, but there's not going to be like so many different sequences. Mm. So I've I've tried to make a beat where I can solo different elements and have those be the different sequences almost, but like it's simple enough that it could be its own song just with the one sequence. So uh. um, th that's what I've been doing like recently. Oh, okay. So you're going to um, more like, let's say minimalistic approach then, kind of yes. like simple, but beautiful you know so like of. simple but musical i like to call yeah, it because yeah, yeah. i'm still being very musical with like my chords and the musicality mm. and melodies and stuff like that mm. but like i'm not doing more than i need to like mm. th this is more than capable of like yes i only have four layers but if i wanted to do like some crazy chord progressions it's more than capable of doing that but yeah, yeah, yeah. the time it would take to do that is is so long so it's like it teaches you to think more like simple mm. and to think more like quickly um, yeah. If I want to spend some time jamming with this, how can I get to a product that's not going to take me like an hour to make? 
So yeah. like every beat I made on this took me about like five to ten minutes or something like that. Can you hear some other beats too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So this is another one that I made like I think this morning <laughs> when I was mm. on the train from my yeah. friend's house to Tokyo Airport. So yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, yo, I've, been, I've been having yo, so much fun with this. That that yeah. that beat you just uh, show us, it kind of have a vibe of like gorillas, kind of, you know. I love gorillas. Yo, so but that's I grew so up on gorillas. Yeah. Yo, it's like yo, that's good, man. Whoa. Or like Rondo Jewel kind of vibe, you know. Uh, I don't, I can't explain. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's really good, man. And then it looks like so, like me and my friends for the past couple of days, because I've been posting it on Instagram. Yeah. And my friends are like, "This looks like a calculator. Like, what is this thing?" And I'm like, "Yo, I'm making beats with a calculator right now. Like, <laughs> do, you, do you know how crazy this is? But also, like, listen to how good this little calculator sounds, though. Like, shit. Yo, you can sell this beat. I'm 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 not kidding. It's good. <laughs> uh, but I, I actually I'm gonna write to this beat. Like uh, like I said to you earlier, I actually kind of want to make some album cuts with this because mm. I didn't realize how good it is for like something that's so simple and like something that's so cheap. Yeah. Um. You know, I don't have like mixes and stuff like that or like anything intense. I've only got four layers. I have mm. no plugins. I just rely on samples or like whatever I you know my voice or whatever. But the fact that I can make something like that in like seven minutes with a little calculator looking machine. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out Teenage Engineering. This is incredible. Um, I have a question about, you know, the sound that you uh, put in there. It's th there's a one element that sounds like a guitar, sort of, like oh, distorted guitar. How did you pull it up? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the original sound, then you just put a distortion on it? So I just put a distortion on it. Ah. Ah, so it ends up sounding like that. Yeah. <laughs> Originally, it just sounds like this. Ah, is it internal sound or what? Like that, that was an internal sound, and yeah. then I just put it into keys mode, and I just, I just basically made like chords out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I just picked that one sound and I made a bunch of chords out of it, pretty much. And then oh. I just I just sampled that into like a, a four bar sequence. But that sound was already on there when I, I I like I said, other than me recording like three or four voice samples, yeah. all the beats, all the um, samples I used were originally from the the stock kit. Mm. So I didn't add anything else to it. Okay, well that, yep. that's sick. So the samples are fire. And by the way, shout out the count. The count's my boy. I know he count. I know he even contributed some samples to this. Uh, this sampler, so shout out the count. Mm. But yeah, the the samples in this stock are fire. I actually don't need to add anything else to it. Like everything else in there is really good already. Okay, let's hear some more uh, beats that you made. Yeah, for sure. What about uh, uh, that? That beat was good, man. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And loading time is quite quick too. Yeah. So um, mm. so if if you put like the camera on it, like all you gotta do is mm. like. If you want to open a project, you just hold main and you just select. So you have nine projects. Mm. If you hold main and select a number, then that's it. Like, it's like two seconds and... Mm. Like you hold it for two seconds and new project loads. So it's pretty good. Ah, okay.
uh, that's also another one I made like last night, just chilling. <laughs> wow. What kind of style that you can describe that beat? It's like housey. Or, it's not house, I think, but um. Like I guess house inspired. I don't. Mm. I don't really know what genre of music I make. To be quite honest, I just yeah. <laughs> I just know what it's inspired by. So I usually make like jazzy R and B inspired music. Mm. And I just kind of take that into other elements, like other kinds of beats, other kinds of genres. Yeah. So I don't really think there's a genre specific, but you like just what sounds all feels good to me. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, other beats as well. You know, just yeah, yeah. keep, keep uh, you know, show us what you got. Yeah, I, I'll be like quite a few, so I, I can run through yeah, them. Yeah, man. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, did you sequence these beats? Wait, uh, did you uh, quantize these beats? No. <laughs> so, okay, I so, got it. Okay. So some of them I did quantize. So yeah. I'll, I'll show you some of the ones I did. Mm. But um, like on the little screen here, it will have like a Q button or a free button, which I only just learned about last night actually. Okay. Um, if you have Q1 whilst you're recording, it will yeah. quantize whilst you're recording. Mm. If you have free on, it will like not quantize at all. But uh. then you can also hold shift and press timing and it will correct whatever you've made. So... For example, if I just want to do like just correct my kick, yeah. I can literally just hold like shift and timing and just press my kick and it will only quantize the kick. Oh, um, I, see. I could press timing and like the, the layer group and it will quantize the whole pattern. Mm. Um, so it's really helpful that if I just want to record loose, like more swung and more like um, like laid back. Yeah, I that was like the one that you just played was a more yeah. laid back style beat. Yeah, it so, was, yeah. yeah. But then uh, the only thing I did was quantize the clap and the mm. snare because I wanted that to be locked onto the two and four. Ah, so you can yeah. quantize just certain Each elements. Certain elements, yeah. Okay. So yeah. I okay. just quantized the clap and the snare, but everything uh. else was like pretty loose. Yeah. Can you hear it again? Yeah. <laughs> effects on this are so good man <laughs> i really <laughs> like them yeah, yeah there was that effect was on time it was like mm, it, yeah. it, it locks in really well it's, yeah, like, yeah, it's really yeah. good yeah yeah I think the bass messed up on that one a little bit because I was playing around with it, but um Really? I couldn't yeah. hear it, yeah. So so th this sample is my voice again, like I just oh. did, I did another one where I was just like I was just mm. basically doing that into the mic and I just like chopped it up and like used some envelopes on it and then I basically got this. And I put some reverb on it and then you know. I've been having so much fun with this man. Like I, I, I really like it. You know what I'm yeah. thinking? We need us. Uh, we need a rich here, so they we, they can just put you know go on a microphone and just rap. <laughs> yo, rich if, and Jake. If, if, yo, if, there's, if, there's, if there's any rappers that want to come in and yeah, rap, any, some any beats, rappers let, in here, any rappers know. in the studio, let me know. <laughs> no, someone shouted no. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh! Yay! 
I really love the distortion on this as well. Like, the distortion. Oh yeah, it like, sounds really good. It, it, it's like it's it's really crispy, but it doesn't like clip so much that like it's unlistenable. Like it clips the perfect amount. So even if I put like the distortion on everything, it doesn't sound like burnt out. If that makes yeah. sense. So. These are all like stuck sounds. I didn't add anything to it. Like that's, that's like mad lip right there. It, exactly. <laughs> like the <laughs> fact that like it comes with sounds that good already built in is insane. Wow. Because like most samplers are like. I'm really. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm really impressed with the distortion of that shit. The, the distortion and the chorus on this is, it, oh. it's, it's literally perfect. Like wow. I, I really love it. Mm. Yeah. That distortion reminds me of some sort of like you know seventies and eighties like you know ni- nice like distortion pedal thing me that too. makes yeah. a, like you know really nice bass sound. I read uh, interviews of like Jay Dilla that he uses some of like these pedals. I re- I forgot the name of it, but yeah, it's kind of uh, similar. I think. Yeah, the the, the yeah. effects on this. I mean, it's limited in effects. I think it only has delay, mm. filter, reverb, mm. chorus, and like compression. So it doesn't have many effects, but the effects are good. And mm. then, you know, you can assign the effects to the fader and then you can just like pick how much effects you want on each group. Mm. Um, it's really, really nice. All right. Ah, yes. Stop, keep going, okay? (laughs) I'm telling you, my little calculator got some heat. <laughs> L- little calculator yeah. got some heat for real. Wow, I, I have a question though. Like, can you uh, imagine um, that you can use that machine as like a, you know some of like SP four zero four heads mm-hmm. when they're doing a live? Do you think that you can pull it from that machine as well? Like, you know, doing like. SP404 live set sort of, you know, kind of vibe, you know, beat live thingy. I, I think this is a little bit more limited than the SP404, but it okay. de- I think it depends on what vibe and what style you're going for. Mm. If So, like, the stuff that I've been playing with, I would absolutely use this for a beat set. Mm-hmm. But in terms of what I would be doing in my beat set would be quite limited. Mm. Um, So, like... For example, if I was playing a set where I had my uh, my other instruments with me, like my uh, yeah. my guitar and my bass and some keys, mm. I would definitely use this mm-hmm. because, like, like if I just threw some drums or some samples on this and I just filled in with the rest of it with the instruments, um, this is perfect. Yeah. Would I do an entire set with this? May- maybe because I'm not used to doing beat sets, so I'm not entirely sure how mm. beat sets entirely work. Mm. Um, I feel like maybe I'd keep using the same effects over and over again because there's only mm, five of them. I got you. I yeah. got you. I got but you. But also, it's not a bad thing. I think I think that's just because again, if you listen to my music, you know my music has quite a lot of layers and a mm. lot of like you know depth to it in terms of musicality. So yeah. maybe it's a bit too simple for what I would want to do. Mm. However, if your music's more like on the simple side, like you have like less layers and less crazy things going on, this yeah. is actually perfect. Like oh. uh, like. Personally, like me saying, I would pick this over an SP404 just because I think it has more character. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I, I, I've literally learned how to use this within three days and I love it. Like I've only made beats with this for the past mm. three days. Um, 
and yeah, I'm man. a lot of fun with it. So yeah, uh, I I really like it. Yeah, uh, saying uh, we are comparing this machine to um, SP404 a lot, and then I saw on Reddit, for example, I'm you know I had a I w- I'm in a, a group of like SP404. Uh, you know the you know the the guys and then they all talking about this machine comparing with the um, you know SP four zero four a lot, so I think but it, uh, as as you uh, just described, this machine can go just go its own different way rather than you know trying to compare with the you know SP four zero four I guess yeah like, I think it has its own unique character and yeah, that's that's what makes sure. it beautiful that that's why mm. I like it because it's like I, I think. The reason I compare it to a SP404 is that, like, if you're familiar with its workflow, yeah. then this might make sense to you. Um, if you've never used a SP404 before, then disregard whatever I've said. It doesn't matter. This is a new experience. But if you've used an SP404, then this would make sense in the way yeah. that it works. You would understand it a bit more. Because I've used SP404 before, um, it didn't make it too difficult for me to get into it mm. and to understand how it works. But... It doesn't work exactly like an SP404. It just kind of reminds me of it, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, kind of like a PS2 and the GameCube are from the same <laughs> era, but you know they they have different games and stuff. But they yeah. kind of have the same games too. They just played slightly differently. Yes. Um, s- same kind of thing. But, All right. Yeah. Do you have any other beats for us? Um. So there's yeah. that. So this would be. This is the first beat I made of it. So <laughs> don't, don't don't judge. It could it could be whack. I'm not sure. But this is the first thing I made with it. Uh, after I read the manual and understood how it works. Imagine Eric Kabadu to scat on this. Yeah, it's, it's got like super like cork triton vibes. It's like yeah, re- it's, it's like re- triton vibe. <laughs> it's like really like yes. old school, like really dry. But like so like th- this drum beat, I made like half quantize and half not quantize. Ah. That, that's when I was figuring out how the quantize feature works. So like the kick and the snare is like very on, but everything else is like super loose. So mm. um, if you listen to it, you'll probably hear it. But I mean, like, even having a sampler that comes with that many good samples, like, loaded in it from, like, the first, like, you know, the first time you turn it on, that's still really incredible to me. Yeah, because, man. Because, I mean, like, I came from using FL Studio 5, <laughs> like, the <laughs> first time I ever made beats. And the stuck samples in FL Studio 5 were not, um, Image Line, I love you guys, but the, the, stuck, the stuck samples were not hitting. For yeah, a, a, man. At least until FL Studio 10, maybe. So, <laughs> the, <laughs> so the fact that, like, this came, like, out of the gate and the sounds in it is already fire. I don't even feel the need to upload anything else to it. I did open the web app, which... Um, so if you want to use this for the computer, there's basically like a web app on like you know Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, whatever you use. Um, you plug it into your computer and then like this web app controls the whole machine. So you can use like the web app to go through samples and like you know you can put samples on certain pads or if you have like certain sounds on your own computer, um, you can drag those sounds into the web app and put them on the sampler and that's how it works. However, you only have 64 megabytes, so you have to be really yeah. careful about like the format your samples are, like the ha- how high quality it is, how long it is, because 64 megabytes isn't a lot to play with. Um, well, but you know, yeah. always I believe that limitation gives you more creativity. That's what I believe. 100%. Because I mean, like, yeah. I-, I made all of these beats knowing that I only have 64 megabytes to play with. So <laughs> as much as I could drag my own samples into it, I'm, I'm going to run out of space. Yeah, man. So I was like, why don't I just play with what I already have and see what I can do? And out of the eight beats I've showed you, it's just like, I really enjoyed everything I've made so far with stock samples, stock sounds, like all the basses and everything. Like even the bass section is insane. Like um, I, I even want to like, I even want to like, I even want to run through a few of them because I just think they're really cool. So I'm going to show you some of the sounds. Yeah, man. So, like, you, for example, you can go through all the sounds, but then you mm. hit the keys button. And then, you know, you can just... You can play with them, like, at any pitch. You can hold the keys button. 
mm. and then you can change like the, the octaves and stuff like that and then like okay hey i don't want to use that sound anymore so i'm going to change it okay hey that one sounds cool i'm going to hit the keys button That it's so simple, like you, you pick a sound, hey, I like it, you hit the keys button, you turn it into a keyboard, and then you know you can do anything with it. Yeah. Um, and that even still sounds fine with this beat, that's the thing, like it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah. It's Any really RD stuff. <laughs> yeah, very, very, yeah. Yo, a uh, shout out to Melos, by the way, he's watching now. Um, yeah, he said, play more beats, I like this guy. <laughs> I think I think I just like replaced my snare with something. My snare's missing now. However, yeah. um, like I, I think with the web app, it's really nice because the web app kind of like um, web app. The, so the web app. Web so, app. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, yeah, there's yeah. an app. So like you don't download software for this. You literally just go on Teenage Engineering's website, and it would like, it will give you like a, a link to go to. Yeah, yeah. And you plug in your machine, your Ko2, with like a USB C. And like Google Chrome will pick it up and it will be like, hey, you've plugged it in. And then you can literally control your whole sampler with just Google Chrome. Yeah. Um, everything. And the web app's really good as well. Yeah. So, like, even if I didn't. So, this way, obviously, if you want to pick through samples, anybody who's been using this, correct me if I'm wrong. But so far, the only way I know to do that is to, you know, to go on sound and, like, you know, do that mm. to go through sounds. And that could be kind of long. I know you can use the numbers to, like. Can you do it again? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can hold it and then you know you can. You can oh, you can hold it. Okay. Yeah, you can hold it and then you can you can you can skip through sections like you know like collapse and like. Um, ah. So the more you hold it, that it will skip through sections like maybe ah, go from I like see. kicks to collapse to like snares to hi hats or whatever. But mm. like that's kind of a long winded way to do it. Where whereas if you use the web app, um, you can literally just go like, hey, I want snares. Click on snare, then you go to like the the hundred snares that are there. You click a snare, and you just drag it. Um, All right. So it, it does make it really easy. But yeah, this is this is like my original sample of me like recording my voice into the um to the microphone. I did that on a plane, and you can't hear any plane noises. Mm. Yeah, this is another one I did because I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn no. out, and then I did I did this as well. No. <laughs> like I w it was just me it's just me going up like <laughs> <laughs> because I, I was I wasn't sure how it worked at first so I was playing around the sample uh, feature um yeah but like dude the sounds are really good like the, everything in this sounds really good yeah like honestly yeah by the way um um today uh you can uh, tonight you can uh, buy this machine in scr so uh, there's a limited stock available uh i think we only have like three uh units left i guess and then after then uh, you won't find uh this unit again for a while not only in korea but uh, like all worldwide so yeah if you can if, if you want to grab it do it now. All I'm going to say is like to anybody out there who's into like <laughs> wanting to get into sampling or whatever, I am going to highly recommend this because yeah, yeah. as most people who listen to my music, you know that I'm not normally a sampler guy. I'm usually just very straight FL Studio or instruments or whatever. But this is, like, I've been telling, I've been texting Bolka about it for the whole week saying like, <laughs> I love how simple this is and it's making me think differently. And like, you've heard the beats I've made with this. So you clearly can hear that it's very well capable of making like album cut like worthy kind of beats um, welcome to hardware man yeah the hardware is <laughs> amazing because I, I mean like so like anybody who's into like you know the sampler beats next you, time you need to do hardware live like i said you know I, i'm going to focus on doing yeah, hardware I, I want to dj less and do more hardware this year I no think. no just what, what you just did uh with the uh, you know uh internal fx and then just you know play that yeah. that's that's enough you know like, like even doing that, like the fact that like, I could just walk around with like one hand and like yeah. just hold this and just be like, just yeah. Like I could just walk around with that with one hand and it's battery powered and like it's got a little speaker on it, which actually sounds very good to mm. be quite honest. Um, I couldn't recommend this thing enough. This is like my first sampler that I've actually owned. I I've used SP four hundred fours and like MPCs and stuff in the past, but um, this is the first time I've actually. 
got to own something like this. So again, shout out Gear Lounge, shout out Teenage Engineering, shout out Bowl Cut because, I mean, bro, I, I, I already know exactly who I'm going to send this beat to when I go back to the UK. Like, <laughs> on the block when I got hot, for the come back when I suck, when I put. <laughs> see, see, you can blue, imagine. Blue, blue, blue. It, 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 it just works immediately. As soon as I made this beat, I'm like, I know exactly who I'm going to give this to. I'm going to be like, I made it on a calculator. Like, <laughs> Give this beat to Skepta. <laughs> Skepta would Skepta would kill this. <laughs> All right, um, I think we are um, uh, enough for uh, you know introducing um, the machine and your workflow and your music uh, for the past few few days. And uh, thank you, Romda Four. Of course, anytime. Yeah, thank man. you for having me. And then we still uh, keep going. We have a live session uh, from Lionclad and Bojack awaits you guys. So stay tuned, and um, yeah, keep in luck. SCR. Thank you. SCR. Oh. <laughs>